okay students after learning the basic syntax of uh, c sharp now let's come towards a new topic which is called the if statement so what is the syntax of if statement let's start our uh, program let me uh, declare two variables of integer type x comma y and then initialize them within the program x is equal to 10 and y is equal to 20 let's say so with the help of if statement we want to compare these two, two values for the greater if x is greater than y then print a message for printing as we already learned we will be using right or right line right function x is greater and we also want to put or we also want to, want to uh, print the value of x so concatenation and then value of x if the condition becomes false here is the condition this statement will give us true or false at a time so if the result if the statement is true then the uh, this message will be printed but if the the, the condition become false it will give us the else statement which is console dot right line Y is sorry. Y is greater. Yes, Y. Before execution, uh, also add a line. This is console dot read key, which is used to stop the executable window. So let's. This is this program. So y is greater because the value of i is 20. So this is so simple program, but uh, but to but to show you that uh, what is the syntax of uh, the if statement. So again, there, uh, this is a keyword. Then if this there, this is the condition, the condition give us uh, one result. It should be true or false. For if if it is true then this message will be printed otherwise the second message will be printed we can also use we can also compare these two values for the equality so this operator will be used which is called the equal operator if these values are equal then it will give us again the um, if it is true then uh, the value is equal and we will be saying that the values are equal values are equal now we to print x and not equal no need to print y so i think the values are not equal so not equal will be printed let's equal these values now values are equal. So the basic syntax of uh, uh, basic syntax of C sharp uh, is same as compared to the other languages. If you can see the if statement, the syntax of if statement is similar to the other languages. Okay, after learning the if else statement, now let's come towards the next topic of if else, which is nested nested if else. But before uh, doing the nested FLs, let me comment this. These these are the two shortcuts available, which is direct, which will be directly commented or uncomment uh, number of statements. So for nested FLs, let me take a third value, which is integer z, integer z. And this time I will be taking it to 
Alright, let's close it. We don't want it anymore. How to take it? So we have already done z is equal to assignment operator. Sorry, then uh, n thirty two sixteen. We may preserve n uh, any number of bits. Then parse function will be used. After this, console dot read line. So with the help of read line, we have just taken the value as a string. Then we convert with the help of parse and into the integer and store it uh, in the z variable. So now we have a three value. So with the help of nest, uh, nested FLs, we are uh, we are comparing the uh, these three value for the greater. So let's see if x is greater than y. And x is greater than z. So we are comparing x with the two variable. If x is greater than these two values, then it means console dot right line. X is greater. X is gt is equal to plus value of x will be printed. If it is not true, then we will be checking y. But the but first we will be writing else if then y will be compared greater than y, uh, x and and y will be compared greater than z. So again we compared y this time with the two uh, variables. If y is greater than console dot right line. Like this. So, otherwise, if these two, uh, these two, uh, these two, uh, two conditions are false, then the third condition will be automatically true. Console dot right line. So it means z is greater. So we will be printing z. So this is the basic syntax of nested FLs. First, it will check for the x whether x is greater than from y and z. If it is true, then this message will be printed, and these two, uh, two, three, four statements will be skipped. If this is false, then it will comes towards the if. Uh, and then second if and we'll be checking for the y if the uh, if y is greater and this this message will be printed and these statements will be uh, statements will be skipped if these two uh, if in a case these uh, two statements are false then automatically the else part will be executed which is z so let's see so what is wrong with this let's see there the concatenation is missing and uh, okay let's execute this code so enter a value which is a third value let me print a 20 uh, let me 22 so if, if you can see z is a greater so in this time z is greater so okay students uh, after the nested fls now let's come towards the next topic which is called the nested if but before uh, writing the nested fls uh, syntax let me comment this code first and declare three variable which is subject one, comma subject two, comma subject three, and average. This time I want average to be a, as a round value because we will be uh, finding the grade of the student. So for this I need a, uh, a round value like 65, 75. So that's why. We declare them as a integer. Now initialize them. So we will be initializing them as a dynamically. First, give a message enter 
थ्री सब्जेक्ट मार्क्स सो फर्स्ट इज सब वन इज इक्वल टू एन थर्टी टू सिक्सटीन इफ अपन यू देन पार फंक्शन एंड बेसिक फंक्शन इज कंसोल द राइट लाइन रीड लाइन सॉरी Now copy this, control C and paste control V, control V. Change the name of the variable. Then average is equal to total mean subject one plus subject two plus subject three. Combine all these three. Divide by three. Find the average. So our topic is nested if if average is greater than or equal to fifty, it comes under the body of the if statement. If the statement is true, then the else part will be printed, which is it means student have uh, taken less marks than the fifty. So less than fifty mean you are fail. But if the condition is true, mean the marks is greater than fifty, so we will be again checking for the marks, exact marks and grade. So average again, we will be comparing greater than or equal to sixty. If the condition is become true, it will comes under the body of the if statement. If if it is false, means you won't have fifty nine, fifty eight, or fifty five values within the greater than fifty, mean fifty one to fifty nine. The way the it will be comes under else. So console dot right line. So your grade is D. Grade is D plus average. I will copy this line because this line will be required next time. Control C. But if the condition is true, soon have taking uh, taken more than sixty uh, marks, then Again, we will checking for the marks for the grade. Average is greater than or equal to seventy. Let's say this time, if the condition becomes true, it comes. It will become. It will come within the body of the if statement. Otherwise, else statement will be printed, which is the grade is, I think, C. Now. If the condition become true, again the next if statement. So let's see, average is greater than or equal to eighty. If the condition becomes true, then it will comes under this body of if statement. Otherwise, else will be printed. The grade is which is a I think is B. If the condition is true, then average is greater than if average is greater than eighty-five. It means you have taken A plus. Otherwise. Less than eighty-five mean you have uh, taken a minus. Okay, students. So, so this is nested if mean. This is the whole uh, body of the if statement. If the condition is true, the first condition is true. 
then the the first body will be executed mean the control will comes under the body of if statement which is again we have if statement but but if the condition is false the last else will be executed which is the first one this one will be executed so again this if statement will be executed if the condition becomes true uh, it will a control will come to the body of the if statement but if it is false this else will be executed this else will be executed and so on so let's execute this code to check the result we have a uh, 67 then 56 and 77 which is grade c so student this is all about uh, the if statement in which we have learned the simple if statement then uh, nested if else and then nested if so this is all about uh, the lecture number third in which we have learned the basics of uh, c sharp and the if statement so if you have if you have any uh, query or question you may ask me on my official email address which is asif at the rate of northern.edu.pk thank you allah Hafiz.